Hi Catsters! Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your cat's ears and if you haven't done so already I recommend that you go and have a look at our video on how to safely restrain your cat just so you know the best techniques and tips on how to keep your cat and you safe whilst you're doing any kind of procedure like this one. So before we delve into the wonderful world of cleaning cat's ears, we need to ask, do my cat's ears need cleaning? In the case of Clutch, he does tend to get fairly grotty ears and that's because he has a couple of small polyps just inside his ears there. Um, Cyril, on the other hand, doesn't tend to get much wax at all. He's got some lovely clean ears, so he doesn't really need a regular clean. So as we're going to be cleaning Clutch's ears today, I'm going to make sure that I've got everything I'm going to need before we get started. I've got these reusable makeup pads. You can use cotton wool. I do have cotton buds here, which you are probably aware we do need to be really, really careful when using these in the ear. And some people will say don't use them at all. The important thing is we don't put them in or near the ear canal, but cats do have very sort of knobbly areas outside the ears or these nooks and crannies, and they are fantastic for getting the wax out of those areas. It's important to be able to have a proper look at the ear so that you can identify the ear canal, which goes down and sort of on an angle toward the face. That's where you want to be avoiding but it's these lovely little nooks and crannies that the cotton buds are fantastic for getting the wax out of. Clutch doesn't mind this particular procedure because of the way he gets these little polyps and wax build up in the ears. He does appreciate getting a good clean out and you can see how much disgusting wax is coming out. Uh, just to compare that to Cyril here, Again, you can have a really good visualisation of his ear canal, but you can also see he doesn't need much in the way of cleaning. But that's the areas that you would use those cotton buds on. So when you're using an actual ear cleaner, a lot of the time what they'll object to is the liquid going into their ear. So I often find it is better to put the cleaning solution onto a pad and you'll see I'm not being too delicate here. I've got the pad over my finger and I am really giving a good vigorous clean to that ear. And sort of like with the, the firm holding of a cat, if you're too hesitant about doing this, they'll get away from you. But if you are quite confident and get right in there, they actually can really enjoy the process. In Cases where you need to apply ear drops or if you are wanting to use ear cleaning solution into the ears, um, of course this should only be done after you have uh, seen your vet. Um, so you can see that he doesn't love having the solution go into his ear. It feels strange, it's unpleasant, but what he does like is this step. And it's an important one, not just to make him enjoy the process, but it helps to get the eardrops going down into the ear canal where they are needed. So we're going to do the other ear as well. Uh, he tends to be better when we do the second ear, perhaps because he realises that it actually feels really nice once he gets it going in and he has that rub. Uh, you can see when I'm doing this bit, I'm not needing to restrain him. He is pushing into it. He really, really likes this bit. So remember, when it comes to cleaning your cat's ears, make sure you're doing it for a good reason. Make sure that you have had an examination with your vet before you put anything into your cat's ears and make sure that they are comfortable with what you're doing. And being that he's been such a good boy and a cooperative patient and model, of course, he needs a reward. 